Welcome back boys and girls. Now let us go to the second questions on momentum and impulse. I'm Mr. Peck here. Welcome to our channel. Now, let us read the questions together. An object of mass 5 kg, which is initially at rest, is acted upon by a force F that varies with time t as shown in the graph. Okay? Uh, this is a force time graph. What is the velocity of the object after 8 seconds? Okay, so what information it gives us? So let us write out all the in information. So we have the mass, 5 kg. Initially at rest, this is initial velocity equal to 0. And then we have a force time graph. And what is the final velocity after 8 seconds? So what we want to find the final velocity after 8 seconds. Okay. So after 8 seconds, that means it already, uh, with the whole graph have finished. Now, this is a force time graph. What it tells us, what we learned about force time graph uh, in the chapter Momentum and Impulse. Okay, one important thing uh, the force time graph tells us is the area under the graph. What is mean by area under the graph? Area under force time graph is actually the impulse okay uh, j is the symbol for impulse all right so impulse is actually area under force time graph uh, so area under the graph we can find the impulse let us find the area under the graph this is a trapezium so formula for trapezium half times uh, six plus uh, four times the height which is ten so this gives us 50 newton second uh, so newton second is the unit for impulse now we have the impulse so what does it mean by impulse i uh, still remember the definition of impulse impulse is actually the change of momentum uh, change of momentum which is mv minus mu uh, so we can find the final velocity so impulse is 50 we got just now and uh, the mass, okay, we can actually factorize out the mass first because it is common. Now, the mass is 5 kilogram and the final velocity we want to find, the initial velocity is at rest, 0. So, we have, uh, we have the final velocity, which is uh, 10 meter per second, okay? And velocity is a vector. You must give direction also. So, this is, since this is a positive value, means it's to the right uh, you must give direction for vector you must give magnitude and direction both okay that's our answer okay thank you please subscribe and bye